as usual, we've got the PDF instructions, all of the MPC files that you need, and of course the step-by-step -step, uh, video that follows this introduction. So I hope you'll enjoy the project and we'll see you soon. separated from the board and uh, what I need to do before I glue these together is to sand this taper you know the carving bit has that seven degree taper and I want this to be a, a flat surface so before gluing these together it'll be easier to sand that flat and get rid of that taper before they're glued together so what I'm doing is uh, just uh, putting this up against this five inch uh, disc sander and I'll feed this into the sander until I see that it's just barely kissing this edge here. So I'm gonna eyeball it and that'll sand away all that taper and uh, make it flat and even with this edge right here. And I'm gonna do that on both legs. and then subsequently glue it on to the uh, lampshade bottom. That should sit flush with this uh, platform here. As long as I'm by the belt sander, I might as well sand off some of these tabs. Now I'm not gonna sand off the tabs of the legs yet because they're not glued together. And I'll go ahead and glue that and then I'll sand the tabs off uh, using a Dremel tool and hand sanding. And I won't sand off the tabs on uh, this top piece of the lamp either. I'll wait until after these are glued together. But what I will do is sand off the tabs off of this round piece, the bottom of the uh, lamp shade, and this round piece here for the uh, frills of the lamp shade. All right, we're ready to glue up the legs and the lamp shade parts. I'm just squirting out a little bit of glue on a paper plate and I've got a small brush and I'll brush on glue on both of these uh, leg halves. This gives me a little more control over applying the glue than one of these larger uh, brushes. So I'm going to use this paint brush. glue on there and I've pre-sanded uh, very lightly just to get rid of any fuzzies uh, along the edges that might interfere with the glue up. Typically I'll lay a sheet of 220 down on a flat surface and just rub it across there get rid of those fuzzies. A little bit of hand sanding sometimes. And I'm just careful to get some of this glue to the edges so the edges glue down nicely. bunch of rubber bands here to just clamp it together. You could use uh, painter's tape or even uh, string if you wanted to. Now I'm going to let that just set just a little bit, just to tack up a little bit before I do the final alignment. That'll make it easier for me to clamp it with these rubber bands. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and glue together the lampshade parts, the top lampshade part and the bottom. Now you see how I've marked, I put a little mark right here. And I've also put a corresponding mark right here. And that's uh, the reason I did that is so that it matches up with the grain of the wood that I cut it out of. So um, as soon as I separated these from the boards, I kept track of the orientation and just made a mark there. So that way the grain pattern matches up. OK, 
and uh, I'm applying glue around the perimeter here and I don't want to get any glue into this hole so that's a little too close I'm gonna wipe that off a little bit later on we'll glue a dowel in that hole a quarter inch dowel but right now I'm just going to use that dowel for uh, an aid in aligning these parts together and I'm not gluing the dowel in place yet so I'm just applying a thin layer of glue to both surfaces again making sure there's no fuzzies that would interfere with the glue up Okay, so I've got my alignment marks here. And I've got my two inch dowel, and I'm just going to use that to align, help align these parts. And I'm not, again, I'm not gluing the dowel into place yet. Yeah, let's see if this is set up enough. wrapping the rubber bands around here to clamp it while the glue dries. Okay, and so I thought as long as I'm making one, I might as well make three of them. So I've got a couple more that I'm gonna glue up too. All right, and I'll come back with you as soon as all this glue's uh, dried up, and we'll go to the next step. Denatured alcohol mixed 50-50 uh, with bullseye zincer seal coat, which is a 100% de-waxed clear shellac is all it is. So I'm sealing this because I'm going to go over this uh, fringe area of the lamp with a paint pen just to draw in some fake fringes and also uh, going to paint the stocking uh, band up here and the shoe uh, black with a black paint pen. So I'm sealing this all first then I'll give it a, a, a light sanding and see if I need another coat or not. If so I'll just slap on another thin coat and uh, sand it down again and then we'll continue on with the prepping for the uh, painting and the final assembly. Okay, I'll let that dry and be back with you in a few minutes. We've got all the parts uh, sealed and sanded, uh, ready for the next step, which will be to use paint pens to apply some color to the uh, leg and also the uh, fringe for the underside of the lampshade. So I've got uh, a black paint pen, which I'll use on the leg to do the shoe and also the uh, stocking band at the top. And then I have a brown paint pen that I'll use to create uh, just some vertical lines all around the perimeter of this fringe bottom for the lamp. So uh, I don't know if you've ever used a paint pen before, but you just uh, prime it by pumping it a bit. And then I like to just make sure I don't have too much paint where it's gonna run. Yeah, it looks about right. So I'm just going to freehand this and draw these vertical lines spaced around for the fringes here. 
So I'll come back to you after I get this done and uh, I'll do, it, do the uh, paint pen, the black paint pen for the leg. Okay, I got the fringe uh, painting all done, all around that uh, fringe part of the lampshade. And I've gone ahead and used the black marker, uh, or paint pen rather, to paint the uh, stocking band and also the shoe. And I'm just going over this, seeing if there's any places that I may have missed. Okay, this paint dries pretty fast, so I'll let this dry a bit and uh, come back and we'll glue the leg onto the fringe section and uh, proceed with the rest of the construction, final assembly, and then uh, apply clear coat, etc. All right, see you in a few minutes. Okay, the paint's dry enough where I can go ahead and glue the leg inside the recess of the fringe part here. So I'm just gonna spread around a little bit of glue. And I don't wanna get any into that hole just yet. Okay, that should do it. We'll glue that in and you know we sanded that taper off so this will sit flat within that recess and we'll just let that sit and dry all right we're ready for the final glue up and uh, what I'll do is I'll apply some glue inside the hole of the lampshade and also on the top of the fringe. And inside this hole right here to receive the dowel that I'll be putting through. Okay, and I'll just push that dowel in. Make sure that's seated well, as it is. I like to use this uh, translucent uh, wood glue by Tight Bond. They have the same thing under a couple different uh, brand names. I think they call it uh, molding glue or something like that, but it's, it's basically just a thick uh, white wood glue. It has a lot of uh, grip to it. Like right now, I've just put it on there and I can barely turn that, if at all. So, I just found a container to set this in upside down while that glue dries. And I'll set it there, let it dry for a while. And then, uh, we'll go ahead and trim off and sand off this excess dowel here. After the glue's dry. flush with this top surface of the lampshade and I'm just going to use a, an awl to mark a hole in the center of that dowel make a pilot hole for the screw eye to screw in there we go And I'll just take one of these uh, screw eyes and screw it in the top here. And that will be for the uh, hanger for the ornament to hang on your Christmas tree. I'm gonna go ahead and screw this in all the way and then back it out and put a drop of glue in there. And um, once I get the drop of glue in there, I'll reinstall the screw eye and that'll just help secure it some more. Okay, I put a little drop of glue on the end of that screw eye and just screwing it back in.
Okay, I've hung up the ornament on a coat hanger just to make it more convenient for spraying with the uh, final clear coats. I'm gonna use uh, Krylon gloss and uh, see what that looks like and possibly follow it up with a satin. Of course, it's your choice. You can uh, finish it up with a gloss or a satin finish or whatever you decide. So I'll finish this up, just applying a few light coats of the gloss and see what it looks like and decide if I'm gonna apply a satin over the top of that as a final clear coat. 